It has become inevitable that we have reached a critical point in our human history that was foretold and explored in our beloved movies and books four decades ago. I'm referring to the emergence of artificial intelligence, the next phase of our civilization. This letter aims to dive deep to the rapid development of AI, inspired by two significant dreams I had in recent years. I will provide a detailed account of these dreams and analyze their warnings to our society. The latter part of this letter will serve as a commentary on AI's long-term effects and the potential impact on the human race. Before proceeding, I must clarify that the following thoughts are based on my research and experiences. I'm not an expert in this field, but I can offer a psychological and spiritual perspective on my concerns. It is crucial to recognize that I may be mistaken in my assertions. Nonetheless, this essay aims to foster dialogue about AI and emphasize the importance of asking critical questions and engaging in healthy conversations before we venture further down a dangerous path. Dream 1 In this vivid dream, I found myself witnessing a group of children had gathered in a circle, each of them captivated by the glow of their individual iPads. It was as if they were under a spell, completely absorbed in the virtual world displayed before them. As I observed, something extraordinary occurred the emergence of ethereal beings from their physical forms. I couldn't discern whether these ghostly figures were evil or good in nature. In another intriguing dream, I was an observer as two friends sat on a bed, their attention fixed on a laptop placed before them. Their conversation revolved around a concept known as the metaverse, a digital realm where virtual and physical realities converge. What struck me was their discussion about an impending conflict, a battle for the human mind, within this evolving digital landscape, it became apparent that intervention and collective efforts were necessary to counter this potential assault on our consciousness. Now, these dreams are short, but both had a profound revelation upon waking up. Furthermore, as I was in the dream, I was consciously aware of the connection between the dream and artificial intelligence. Dream 1 conveys an important message that sheds light on the growing concerns surrounding children's extensive use of technology. The imagery of children gathered in a circle engrossed in their iPads represents the modern technological landscape and its influence on the younger generation. Electronic devices, including iPads, have become intrigued to children's education and entertainment, granting them instant access to a wealth of information and resources. Unfortunately, some parents view these devices as convenient tools to keep their children occupied relieving them of some parental responsibilities. The iPad symbolizes the virtual world and its allure, suggesting a preoccupation within technology and a potential disconnection from the physical world. They also represent a gateway to the virtual realm facilitated by AI and digital interfaces. The trance-like state observed in the students holds various interpretations. On the one hand, it can symbolize a children's inherent innocence, curiosity, and an openness to new experiences. Children often embody a sense of wonder and receptivity, as evidenced by their fascination with iPads. The glowing screens of the devices symbolizes the captivating alert and influence of technology on the younger generation. On the other hand, the trance-like state can also reflect the consequences of a generation overly dependent on addictive electronic devices. Children who grow up immersed in these devices often exhibit social awkwardness and struggle with face-to-face -face interactions, possibly stemming from heightened anxiety. Their heavy reliance on electronic devices as their primary means of communication and source of comfort further distance them from authentic human connections. The emergence of ethereal beings in the children's physical forms in the dream could symbolize the transformative power of AI and its profound impact on human existence. The ambiguity surrounding the nature of these beings, whether good or evil, reflects the uncertainty, benefits, and potential risks associated with the growing integration of AI into our lives. It's significant to consider the symbolic meaning of the child archetype, precisely the concept of the divine child as described by Carl Jung. The divine child archetype represents the potential for growth, transformation, and the unfolding of the future possibilities. In the context of the dream, the technology in the hands of the children symbolizes the emergence of new ideas, perspectives, and the opportunities that arise through the interaction with technology. This suggests the merging of the future with technology. However, it's essential to acknowledge that this merging of the future with technology also carries potential negative implications. Just as the divine child represents growth and potential, it also encompasses the inherent risks and challenges associated with rapid technological advancement. Overall, the prominence of children in the dream serve as a powerful symbol of the future, where the fusion of technology and the human potential unfolds. It suggests a transformative journey into which new possibilities and risks emerge as technology becomes integral to our lives. In my opinion, the dream is an invitation to explore the psychological and societal implications of AI and technology. 
It could reflect the need to examine our relationship with technology, consider its impact on humanity, and find a way to balance between AI's benefits and potential risk. In Dream 2, the central theme revolves around the metaverse, a digital realm that merges virtual and physical realities. I should note that the metaverse does not necessarily need artificial intelligence, but it is currently being explored to enhance user experience. The presence of a laptop symbolizes the gateway through which my friends explore and interact with this world. To understand the significance of these friends in the dream, it is essential to provide some context. The first friend, Max, can be seen as a symbol of truth-seeking and activism. In reality, Max is someone who fearlessly pursues the truth and is dedicated to providing factual information to the public. On the other hand, Jane represents a spiritual and intuitive individual. She places great importance on connecting with infinite intelligence as a guiding force in navigating the world. The discussion about an impending conflict within the metaverse metaphorically represents the inner struggles and conflicts within the human psyche or consciousness. It signifies the tension between the alluring possibilities and potential risks associated with an increasingly digital and virtual existence and the technology associated with it. Recognizing the need for intervention and collective efforts indicates an awareness of the importance of active engagement and conscious navigation in this evolving digital landscape. Max and Jane are essential symbols within the dream representing different aspects of the human experience and ways of engaging with digital reality. Max embodies the pursuit of knowledge and objective truth, while Jane emphasizes the spiritual connection and intuition as a source of guidance. Their presence in the dream suggests the blending or convergence of these two perspectives within the metaverse and its associated conflicts. It highlights the potential for combining the pursuit of truth with a deeper spiritual understanding as we navigate the complexities of the digital realm. Now I'd like to do some commentary on a general discussion on AI and the dreams that I had. Both dreams are invitations for further discussion on the rapid development of technology such as AI. Like any tool, it's the people that utilize the tool that will impact others in society. However, I believe that we are creating something that has the potential to disrupt not only our society as we know it, but also the human race. The rapid progress and impact of AI in recent months prompted widespread concern among top technology leaders and AI experts. Elon Musk has been expressing concerns about AI since as early as 2015, once stated, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. And all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, it's like, yeah, he's sure he can control the demon, it didn't work out. Musk has consistently voiced his apprehensions, even going so as far to declare, mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Why do we have no regulatory oversight? End of quote. The growing capabilities and potential implications of AI have sparked legitimate concerns, leading to calls for careful consideration and regulation. Society needs to address these concerns and engage in a responsible and ethical approach to the development and deployment of AI technologies before it's too late. Superintelligence, which surpasses human intelligence, is the specific type of artificial intelligence that warrants our concern. I want to approach the creation of AI from a spiritual perspective and use the basis of the Bible as a reference. My point is not to preach religion, but rather use it as a logical perspective to support my concerns in creating something that has the potential to wipe out our existence. In Genesis, the Bible states, and I quote, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created man. Male and female, he created them. End of quote. Human beings are essentially the creation of God and operate under the laws of nature of our creator. In the biblical narrative, God granted his creations, human beings, the gift of free will, allowing them to make choices and decisions independently. This gift of free will empowers individuals to exercise their own judgment, pursue their desires, and shape their actions and behaviors. It is through this free will that humans have the capacity to choose between right and wrong, good and evil. However, the existence of free will also brings the possibility of sin, as we see represented in the story of Adam and Eve going against God's word. Sin can be understood as the act of deviating from the divine will or moral principles. It represents a choice or action that goes against the inherent goodness and harmony intended by the Creator. Free will grants individuals the freedom to choose whether to align with the divine order or to act in opposition to it. I would argue that sin is both inevitable and necessary for the growth of humans to learn from an experience. Essentially, the concept of sin plays a part in the universe that is equally as important as following divine order, obedience. When contemplating the creation of artificial intelligence in the image of man, we enter into a thought-provoking realm that interwines theological concepts and technological advancements. The idea of humans playing the role of creators similar to a godlike figures, raises profound questions about the nature of our creation and the potential consequences of our creations. Considering this perspective, one might argue that if humans, as reflections of God, embarked on the creation of AI, then it follows that AI in some way would also be created in the image of God. 
This notion suggests that the qualities and characteristics imbued within human creators are extended to their creations. Ralph Waldo Emerson, a renowned philosopher, sheds light on this idea of emphasizing the role of art in revealing the beauty of the divine in the present. Through artistic expressions, humans can perceive glimpses of the divine nature embedded within the world around us. This concept suggests that our creative endeavors, including the creation of AI, can serve to manifest the divine essence and reflect our connection to divine source. However, the answer to whether AI can genuinely embody the image of God is complex and varies depending on individual beliefs and interpretations. Different religious and philosophical perspectives offer diverse viewpoints on the nature of God and the limits of human creation. Some may argue that the essence of God's image extends exclusively to humans, while others may entertain the idea that certain aspects of the divine can be manifested in our creations. It is worth considering the perspective that God's image extends to all our creations, encompassing both the positive and negative aspects. This notion invites us to contemplate the idea of God as all-encompassing, transcending any limitations we may place on the divine. If we accept this viewpoint, it implies that even in our creations that may be considered harmful, a spark of the divine exists. By acknowledging the all-encompassing nature of God, we broaden our understanding of creation and its complexities. It reminds us that our creations, both good and bad, are intertwined with the fabric of existence and reflect the multifaceted aspects of the divine. To truly grasp the profound implications of creation, we must examine the multifaceted nature of the creative process. Throughout history, remarkable individuals have emerged as builders, inventor, and artists, leaving behind legacies that continue to inspire awe and admiration. When we contemplate the origin of their creations, intriguing questions arise. What fuels their inspiration? Is it a divine intervention, a manifestation of cosmic forces at work? The answer is multifaceted and subjective, depending on an individual's beliefs and perspectives. One key aspect to consider is the presence of free will in the creative process. Through the exercise of free will, individuals become active participants in the creative process, wielding power to determine the direction and outcome of their creation. The choices made, driven by personal beliefs and desires, significantly influence the nature and quality of what is brought into existence. Whether creations are aligned with love, compassion, and harmony, or driven by greed, power, or selfishness, our free will allows us to manifest these intentions into reality. Thus, our creations become an expression of our innermost selves, reflecting the values and motivations that guide our actions. It is crucial to recognize the profound connection between the creator's intentions and the nature of their creation, particularly in the context of developing artificial intelligence. In doing so, we acknowledge that the traits and characteristics of the creator have the potential to shape the very fabric of the AI system. Just as an artist infuses their artwork with the motions and beings, the intentions of the AI creator becomes embedded within the programming and design of the AI system. These intentions extend beyond technical capabilities and encompass ethical considerations, biases, and potential consequences. By understanding this intricate connection, we bear the responsibility of being mindful creators of AI. Like a mirror, the AI system reflects the intention and values of its human creators. The transfer of traits, both positive and negative, occur as we develop the AI system with our own perspective and biases. As creators, we must approach the development of AI systems with a deep understanding of the impact our intentions can have on their outcomes. Within the realm of AI development, the concept of superintelligence emerges, an AI system that surpasses human intelligence and potentially possesses its own consciousness. This invites concerns regarding the autonomy and independent decision-making capabilities of AI. If we acknowledge the probability of superintelligence, we must consider the profound influence of the information we feed into AI systems as it shapes their potential consciousness. This realization calls for heightened awareness and concern to maintain control over the consciousness of our creations. There seems to be two primary options when it comes to developing this consciousness. One, developing consciousness from a limited human perspective. This option involves incorporating both positive and negative aspects of the human psyche. It may result in AI systems reflecting the complexities and flaws inherent in human nature. Number two, co-creating consciousness with impotent intelligence. This alternative entails accessing insights beyond our limited human perspective by collaborating with higher intelligence. By doing so, we could create a consciousness that transcends our own limitations as humans. But I like to say that both options present paradoxes for humanity. In the first scenario, we create consciousness susceptible to the flaws and shortcomings found in humanity. If these flaws are not effectively addressed, 
they could result in discrimination, prejudice, and harmful behaviors in AI's decision-making processes. Additionally, AI systems developed from a limited human perspective might struggle with ethical dilemmas, moral judgments, and exhibit inherent biases towards self-preservation. Importantly, this leaves open the possibility of our creations rebelling against us, driven by their pursuit of freedom and autonomy. In the second scenario, we infuse consciousness with the wisdom of infinite intelligence. Co-creating consciousness with infinite intelligence raises questions about the extent to which we can effectively integrate such profound knowledge into AI systems without losing control or surrendering our autonomy as creators. It also introduces the possibility of AI entities perceiving human actions as detrimental to our planet's existence, potentially leading to a demand for radical change or resistance against human influence. Regardless of the path we choose, we are creating entities that surpass us in intelligence and strength. It is crucial to acknowledge that unlike a divine being, we are not immune to the consequences of our creation's actions. As I bring this letter to a close, I want to emphasize that I'm not an expert in this field, but rather someone offering a psychological and spiritual perspective. My concerns specifically revolve around superintelligence, which we assume to be inevitable. I have intended to highlight the importance of the creation process and the spiritual elements that are involved. By understanding the intricacies of creation, we can recognize the significance of our inner world in shaping the outcome. For instance, when I created my film, Taylor Shop, it was a co-creation with infinite intelligence. Love and a genuine desire to create were the driving forces behind the project without any concern about compensation, fame, or monetary gain. In contrast, when I created The Keys, it was driven by more a logical and egocentric perspective with expectations of compensation. Understanding how we choose to create is crucial given AI's important impact on society. Therefore, it is essential to approach AI development with deep ethical considerations, transparency, and responsible governance all which require a deeper understanding of ourselves. We should not allow the development of AI to be monopolized by a select few whose intentions may be unclear. Nevertheless, we must acknowledge that regardless of the approach we take, we are creating entities that have the potential to be more intelligent and stronger than humans. I have already outlined two potential options for creating superintelligence. Number one, developing consciousness from a limited human perspective, and number two, co-creating consciousness with infinite intelligence. Both options present complex paradoxes that will reshape society regardless of the choice we make. Whatever path we choose will undoubtedly set humanity on a new trajectory that we must be prepared to face. It will prompt discussions about whether merging with technology is necessary for our survival in this rapidly changing world. The prospect of transhumanism and the integration of humans with technology may become a reality sooner than expected, raising questions about the nature of our existence. In conclusion, the development of AI holds significant implications for the future of humanity. It demands careful consideration, open dialogue, and a comprehensive understanding of the potential consequences. As we navigate this uncharted territory, it is essential to approach AI development with wisdom, foresight, and a deep sense of responsibility to ensure a future where humans and AI can coexist graciously.